Hello and welcome to a new video. How are you going? I've been very busy this week recording videos and editing them to get them queued up, sort of ready to go. And yeah, the video that I have for you today is recreating a real life floor plan in The Sims 4. So basically I just searched online for a floor plan that also included the frontage of the house and I'm going to recreate that on The Sims 4. Not everything is obviously going to look as it is in the picture because you kind of have to work with what you have, but that's pretty much part of the challenge. I also do this in my free time as well, like when I'm building, like I look up floor plans for inspiration because sometimes Sometimes you just like don't really know where to start so it's really nice and fun to sort of yeah look at something that exists and then you know that what you're going to make is going to be like realistic somewhat. So this is the house that I found. Um, you can see that it's kind of like an American sort of build. There's no garage which makes it really easy to do in The Sims 4 because obviously The Sims 4 doesn't have cars so yeah I made sure to find one that didn't have a garage. So spoiler alert I'm super happy with how this house turned out. I think I replicated it really quite well. Uh, but you know, we'll see as the video goes in on how it sort of comes to be. But an issue that I did have was um, working out the width of the house because yeah, in the in the picture you look at it and it's got a very slim hallway that connects the bedrooms and the bathroom. And when I was playing with that like in the game, it was kind of hard because I had to have a hallway that was only one square wide, which is obviously a very, very thin hallway in The Sims 4. But if you look at it in like comparison to the actual floor plan that I looked at, um, it is accurate in regards to sizing. So yeah, I started off making the house wider than what it was necessary because I thought that it needed the extra space for the hallway, but I just decided to do a really slim hallway just so that way it was way more accurate. Otherwise the whole house would have been off. Um, so yeah, just take that in consideration. I know the hallway is really tiny, but I kind of had to do that to make the whole house work. Um, something else that I missed as well is that little, um, that little front of the, the roof. What is that called? I had painted that a paint, but it didn't match the picture. But then my girlfriend was building a house, which I'll tell you about in a minute. And she found the exact paint that I would have needed to create that from that photograph. And I was like, I was looking for that, but I didn't, I didn't think it existed. But yeah, so I mean, that's probably the one thing that I sort of like missed and could have actually achieved. I'm glad that the like uh, the landscaping at the front of the ha this house is really simple too, because yeah, I'm, I'm not great at landscaping. So it was easy just to chuck in a couple bushes because that was in the photograph too. Going back to my girlfriend building a house. So I showed her this house when I had finished building it because I was so proud of it. And I was like, hey, babe, come look at this house that I just bought and showed her the pictures and stuff like that. Um, and then she was like, can I build a house? And I was like, uh, yeah, sure. Like, why not? Because she's never played The Sims before. So, and I have wanted to film some videos with her on my YouTube channel, but obviously she's never played The Sims 4 before, so she doesn't know any of the controls or anything. So I thought that it would be like a great opportunity for her to actually like play around a little bit, give it a go and like get used to using the controls. She started building her own house the other night. She started at 8.30 PM, it got to midnight. Well, it was like 11.30 and she had built the main, like the structure of the house, the main bedroom, the main bathroom, and then the kitchen, but she hadn't done anything else in that time. And I was like, babe, we like, we need to go to bed. It's like getting really late. So we went to bed and then she did a little bit more of it um, last night and she still hasn't finished it. And then, yeah, I think that was all she's worked on it. Uh, oh, she worked on a little bit yesterday during the day as well, but she still hasn't got this house finished. Um, it's also a really big house though, which I feel like when you first start building in The Sims, you, you make your houses way bigger than you need to be. But then once you learn like how big the items are and how big your Sims are and like it takes so long for them to walk through such a large amount of space, that's what I find anyway. Um, yeah, I feel like you end up making your houses smaller, unless of course you're building a mansion, but generally speaking, you do try and like, yeah, utilize the space as much as you can. But yeah, she's very happy with her her big house that she's building at the moment. And yeah, she's doing a great job like with the styling and the designing of it, like it looks great. But yeah, I think the only critique I have of her is that she does struggle with the controls, like rotating the screen and stuff like that. But otherwise she's doing amazing, especially for not having used The Sims before. Um, because I've been playing the game like ever since Sims 1 was out and obviously it was very different. Like, I mean, you couldn't even really rotate the screen. You could only rotate it like four clicks and that was that was your view. Um, so yeah, it's, it's obviously I'm very used to playing The Sims and stuff like that. I also love that The Sims 4 comes with The Sims 3 camera because The Sims 4 camera is so bad. So yeah, if you don't, if you play The Sims and you don't like the camera, go into your settings and I can't remember what section it's under, but definitely change it to The Sims 3 controls and it's yeah it's so much better. Back to the house. So with the interior, I wanted to keep it like upper end kind of like 
old school but still kind of modern I don't really know how you would describe it but yeah it's very it's very neat clean and I feel like whatever family lives in this house would you know have a bit of money uh, I did make it for a family of three, so I made it for a couple and then a daughter. I don't know how old the daughter is though, because I made the room for like a child or a teenager. It probably could fit for either. Um, but yeah, I was designing it and I was like, wait, am I making this for a child or a teen? And I wasn't sure, so I, I tried to not put any items in there that made it really specific. So yeah, you can sort of do whatever you want. The floor plan as well said that the master bedroom should go at the back of the house, but... I didn't like that because the, the room at the front of the house had space for like a, a big robe. So I ended up putting the main, like the master bedroom at the front of the house and then the kids bedroom at the back of the house. And I also think a lot of the time in houses, well in Australia anyway, the master bedroom is often at the front of the house. So yeah, that was kind of just something that I changed a little bit. I also really liked the way that the laundry was attached to the kitchen and it was just behind it and then you walked outside to the backyard. It's very different and not something that I would really do in a build. So yeah, it was nice to try something different and yeah, I really liked that. In the bedroom as well, <laughs> the main bedroom, I really struggled with like picking what colours and paintings and things because I didn't want it to look like every build that I've ever done and I wanted it to look different and it's like it's not typically my style or like what I would choose but I feel like you know maybe it suits whatever family is living in this house maybe that's that's what they like like semi classy vibes I don't know what you would call it honestly but yeah it's not my typical furnishing style and then yeah you can see here in the the kids room I started off with furnishing it for a child and then I was like oh but like you know it could suit a teenager so changed it up a little bit so either way can work for either you can add and take away any items you like this house is on the gallery too you can search up my account it's just like in xo and i've got a whole bunch of builds on there that i do on camera and off camera and you can download them does anyone else really struggle with rugs and like what rug you should put down because i always find it a struggle like i feel like there's some really cute rugs but then i find myself always using the same ones but if i try to pick different ones it's like they just don't go like i don't even know if i'm happy with the rug in this bedroom but like i still chose it anyway <laughs> Going back to the kitchen, um, I know that I'm building the bathroom, but going back to the kitchen, I really liked how the kitchen turned out. Um, yeah, obviously it's a long house, not a wide house. And obviously with the plain floor plan as well, it gives you the option to sort of use your own imagination with what you kind of want the house to feel and look like. And with the bathroom, I did just keep it very clean and like semi-modern, um, but not too modern because... Yeah, I think having it too modern just wouldn't fit the style of their house. But I think you can never really go wrong with a white bathroom. With the lighting, I tried to switch it up and not do my normal downlights and put in some different lights. <laughs> I just really like the downlights because they provide so much light and they don't get in the way when you're actually playing the game, um, which I find a lot of lights sometimes do. It's the same as like big wardrobes and things like that. Like it takes up so much of your view space when you're playing the game and it's just not very like yeah player friendly for the outside of the house again i kept it very simple because obviously the focus was mostly on the build and i just put a couple of skill items out there like the chest table and the easel and then like a couple of bushes because yeah the floor plan did say that it had a patio outside so i did do that and include that in it and i did this entire build as well and forgot to put flooring in so i had to go back in after and add in some flooring so the house on the gallery does have flooring i just forgot it when i was building as usual i think it's because i build with like the grid on and when you have the grid on you can't notice that that's not like tiles or something so then i go into live mode to do the screenshots and i can see that it's just concrete floor so yeah i went in and fixed that and then yeah here are the screenshots I hope you liked today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and subscribe for more videos. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon.